How you going, Libra? I've got your daily read for today. I hope you're happy and healthy. Um, I'm going to use three different decks and put three different decks into the uh, reading. Well, they pull seven cards out of each deck, so that way uh, we can see if there's any doubles or any triples for um, extra emphasis. Uh, the message I got uh, before the, before we start is I am ready to take my life's journey to the next level, and I have almost achieved my goals, and I have the strength to make it. But let's have a look at that, guys. Woo! Stepping off in the right direction there. Oh, yeah, you definitely might be staying awake, though, because you... You're working very, very hard, yeah. Because look, look, she's perfecting a skill now. I have almost achieved my goals, and I and I have the strength to make it. That is literally word for word that card, yeah. But you might be staying awake at the present moment to achieve those goals. But spirit says you're walking in the right direction, and you're ready to take your life's journey to the next level, which is that card as well. So it's funny that those uh, messages came out of the first couple of cards that come out. The spirit's trying to pull you in some sort of direction. So we'll have a look. Giving and receiving, charitable mindset. You're working very, very hard, yeah? Working very, very hard on your pentacles. It's as simple as that. He is trying to skill up in some sort of way, right? You know, the card. Yeah, look. Justice is coming in to balance the scales out regardless, okay? So see that? All three of pentacles. All three of pentacles. You're working very, very, very hard, yeah? Many, many moons, okay? But your sleep is just there. It might be a little bit of depression, maybe a little bit of uh, worry, things like that. It's self... You're working very, very hard, all right? So the Six of Pentacles is a charitable mindset, but it's giving and receiving. So it's like you're giving out and you're receiving. You're working very, very hard. So it's like with that Knight of, uh, Knight of uh, Pentacles. See, the Knights are erratic, okay? But they act, okay? So the pages uh, are learned. They learn and they're messengers, okay? But the Knights are erratic. They act and they... Their movement in themselves, and that's a Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Knight of Wands, okay, is the pursuit of adventure. He's on adventure, yeah. The Knight of Swords is on the pursuit of excellence, okay. He's the hero, if that makes sense. The Knight of Cups is on a pursuit of love. He's the Knight shining armor of love, yeah. But that that Knight of Knight Knight of Pentacles is a person who's very very hardworking, very very methodical, okay. You can see even in the picture, it's a it's a farmer. Yeah? He's feeling sowing the land. Okay, hard work, yeah. So somebody's working very, very hard on their on their their, their seeds of growth, or whatever it is you're trying to grow, or, you know, whatever it is in itself. You know, spirit's gonna trying to balance out that scale there with um, you know, natural karma and and law and, and all that sort of stuff as it comes along. Yeah, you're gonna be jumping for joy, and that's the truth. You have the Literally, the cards that look at these cards. Look, you're going to be jumping for joy, okay? This is my trials and tribulations card. This is learning all the lessons in life and able to step off, okay? After that is the methodical hard work. You put in the hard work because you know how to do it then. But then, yeah, you can see that this one is beating to your own drum. So it's like you're, you're unapologetically yourself. She's on a pursuit of adventure, see? She's just being herself and she's in that teenager energy. So she's. Uh, literally just being herself and spirit saying protect that yeah because that's a divine gift and you are a divine gift when you're in that energy you're a divine gift anyway that's for sure because that's a divine wish there as you're jumping for joy that's extreme joy and that's her jumping for a wish okay so you've made a wish for some sort of growth in some sort of way business uh, money something to do with abundance in some sort of way it could be health it could be uh, it could be love in some sort of ways but I don't get that I get more of so somebody's on a journey in some sort of way with that like the material world, nature, resources, finances, health, something around there. So you're going to be jumping for joy because you've learnt all the lessons to be able to get the new beginning. And then there's the seed that pre presents the new beginning, if that makes sense. So as you step off, right? So whatever it is, you're going to protect it and you're going to enjoy it happily. And, and Spirit says it's like a beautiful love, yeah? You're going to love whatever it is, okay? Because it's a divine gift, okay? It's the baby steps in itself, yeah? Yeah, you're going to love it. Whatever it is, you're going to love it. Now, if it's love, no, you just had two cups off it. So, therefore, in itself, but that can be a choice. Yeah, you're learning at the present moment. That's a, that's a learning card. That's the pages of ones are learners, but that one, that page is... um. It's asking you to rely on your intelligence, okay? So it's underneath the stepping off card. So stepping off in that direction. So uh, rely on your intelligence at the pre present moment. The message you got for uh, your reading was, uh, I've almost achieved my goals and I'm, I had the strength to make it. So you're going to make it. Spirit's going to make sure of that. And that you're ready to take your life to the next level. So you can see how that top level literally explains that thoroughly yeah and in, embracing that empress energy where it's um, like anything's possible and having that unconditional love for life but with that page it's like um 
you know, it, it is asking you to rely on your intelligence and observe carefully and be aware at the present moment. Yeah, because you ha have completed out some sort of painful endings and crises. And the way that you've done that is the same card we just got before. You've done that with positivity. See, this is the same card here as beating to your own drum. There it is right there. But in this deck, okay, so it's like you've beat that out by remaining positive and beating to your own drum, being unapologetically yourself and stepping off in that direction yourself. So that's how you've e ended up learning from these. Um, situations because remember I said here with this page energy it's learning the trials and tribulations to step off and have your new journey and so once spirit gives that seed of growth you're able to step off being unapologetically yourself and positive no matter what yeah you're extremely joyful you've just got you just just got extreme passion right extreme passion like being into your own drum positive fearless okay and then you've got extreme joy in this one which is uh the sun which is like um wholesome joy is somebody radiantly happy um positive it could be the birth of something new you could be pregnant in some sort of ways but i don't get that it's more along the lines of your happiness of the the thing that you've asked for because look he's got nine cups he's only waiting for one more in itself and he's very very happy and that's a card of joy joy that's the same card there you can literally see it in the picture there she's jumping for joy um, you can see it here. Yeah, you put action. You're putting action into something, and it's beautiful. You put an action into it. Divine judgment is being called, which is self-realization. You may have a cup of love, or you may be the type of person that wears. See, like I said before, they've got their pursuits. This is a pursuit of love. But in this case, okay, if you're not looking for love, it's somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve. Okay, somebody who's putting in the efforts to get something that you love, okay? Because that's what he's doing. He's putting in the efforts to get the sweet person off their feet, chivalrous. But if that's not you, divine judgment's called, being called of self-realization, self-realization, that's what that is, and redemption. See, they're all redeemed uh, in itself. Okay, once Archangel Gabriel blows his trumpet, yeah, but you can see in this card, it's somebody, it's not, it could be somebody chivalrous, I get that. It could be, okay, Because, but I don't get that. I, I get that more along the way of a business or an entrepreneur's because, uh, entrepreneurial spirit because I've got a legacy here somebody trying to create that legacy all right and and so when it comes down to this card here i don't really see it in the way of love i see it more in the way of something that you love and you'd be willing to put in the effort for something that um, you would absolutely love to put in the effort for uh we only pull one more card and then we'll split the decks libra beautiful don't let it trap you in your mind okay see here i'm going to show you again in a different way Look, same cards, right? Same card. Don't let work too much work. See, many, many moons. There it is there. Same card, right? Same card there, yeah? Same card, right? But see how it's trapping them in the mind on this one? See? And then in this card, it's trapping them in the mind. See? It came out the exact same time. See? So if you're going to be working too hard, just remember all, all work and, and no play makes makes it a dull day, if that makes sense. So, you know, you want to have that balance, equilibrium and balance, thank you, Spirit, in, into the things that you love and you enjoy, and that will heal it out. See? So you started with the Ten of Legacy over here. That will heal it out. See? So a different Ten of Legacy. So you have self-realization. So you come back to beating to your own drum and putting that action in, because Spirit doesn't want you to be on the edge of burnout, if that makes sense, okay? Because you're manipulating something very good in your energy, okay? So you're very, very determined, okay, to get what you you want which is beautiful because it ties into uh, the start of the reading which is i have almost achieved my goals and I'm, i have the strength to make it so you can make it but just don't burn out see i'll show you one last time only because it's just very important not to burn out see same card but around that card is some sort of burnout in theory so we don't want to burn out so spirit says it just use your knowledge especially when stepping off in any direction at the present moment okay so we're going to flick the decks now see same card man i just grabbed it same card spirit says yeah Stepping off in the same direction. See, three of wands for three of wands. You're going to have that domino effect of life in order to get what you want, which is the same card here as well, which is that cup of love or something that you love and going to inspire you in some sort of way and then just need a bit of balance to come in and balance the scales from the same cards. Freaking cards, man. I love this. All right, same freaking cards, yeah? So here, I'll show you this one. So it's literally the same cards over here in order to balance that out. Spirit's saying... Balance this one, same card here, you got to balance it, okay? You've got to have that natural sleep and, and circadian rhythm in order to have it. So it literally comes in and, and you don't have those sleepless nights and then you can grow. See, you grow whatever it is there and you'll enjoy what you grow and you'll love, you'll love it, okay? And then it will give you that level up. In, in, if it's business, it'll be competition because that's what that is and it'll, you'll get the victory from that competition. So you can see how it literally works. But then underneath that was stress. So, so just... 
don't overstress it because if I had pulled that current out, it would have went straight under that. So Spirit's like explaining that there's a bit of stress there and it's hard yakka, man. It's hard work in order to get there. But when you get there, because you're on the edge of it and you're ready to take this journey, that you just literally are going to get it there. And that is a, that is your hope and wishes there. That's your hope and wishes. And then underneath here that's trying to come out is the Trials and Tribulations card. Okay, Trials and Tribulations card of hope and wishes. So you've learned the lessons and have to have that hope. Okay, and then that brings you in that awakening of self-realization, which is uh, divine trumpet uh, being um, blown as well. So it gives you that chance to be able to ri rise up and have that redemption of whatever it is you want. And that's like you are here to share your voice, I suppose, and give yourself the ability um, to have that new beginning as long as you learn the lessons. Because here it is in a better way. Yeah, you'll have the joy in the in that new beginning, okay, and the positivity. But you just need to protect yourself and protect that energy. You know, get your sleep. You know, make sure you're doing all the right. You know, drink some water, eat some fruit, all that beautiful stuff. You know, but in that you'll have total transparency. You'll have total transparency to get what it is you want. You can see how the cards work. You'll have total transparency. See, spirits watching over to keep it safe to make sure that you don't burn out. And you're going to have to have that balance. See, she's that's harmony. That card there is harmony. That temperance angel's harmony and balancing those masculine to feminine energies okay and you can see whatever it is that you're going to love now around that I just it gave us the same cards in a different way um, here so divine trumpet which is awakening in this card um, we've got um, we've got the same card here in the middle and then the legacy is being watched over by your angels see divine angels to keep you safe uh, so you get what it is that you want I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. And just remember that you are so close. Now, this should be an epiphany for you. This is, you are so close to getting what you want and having that reckoning, okay? And Spirit knows your motives and your heart to be true, but we don't want to burn out, okay? Have a lovely, beautiful day and take care.